So hello and welcome to this week's angling vlog. This week you join me out on the bank angling search of pike. So pike fishing is all about tradition and I am no different. On the channel over the years you've seen me start my campaign on the banks of the river and this year is no different. One thing that is breaking my tradition though is not getting out on the bank in the dark at first light. Throughout this week I've been feeling really under the weather and this morning just couldn't get out of bed so it's about half past nine when I have got on the bank and got the rods in the water. As you can see on screen now the rods are in the water and it's an overcast beautiful day for pike fishing. There is quite a bit of colour in the water and a bit of pace from the recent rain but all around me you can see that the change is happening. The leaves on the trees are changing, everything's dying back and there was a nip in the air as I was travelling to the venue. So with the shelter up and the rods out, it really does feel like the campaign for Pike in 2023 has begun. So the plan for the session today is to be quite static. I'm gonna stay in this one swim. They have given rain this afternoon, so the shelter's up, the rods are out, and yeah, I'm just gonna put plenty of oil on the baits and sit in this area. There's plenty of silvers topping in the area, so I am quite confident that there should be a pike in the area. Before we do get into this blog, I just want to say good luck to all the pikers out there who are beginning their campaign now. I hope the season is a good one, the conditions are good, and that big girl is waiting for you. So, fingers crossed lads, and tight lines. So flipping the camera around, what a lovely view that is. There's plenty of areas in the swim we can work. We've got some cover on the far bank. We'll just go over the rods. The right hand rod is on a ledger, and I've just got that down the middle, and that's on half a herring with plenty of oil on it you see there's plenty of colour in the river today the left hand rod is on the float and I think you can just see it there and that again with plenty of oil on to begin with that is on my trusty smelt as you can see there all the gear still on the trolley and in a second I'm just going to move it all under the shelter when it is dry there is a bit of a walk um, a great bit of kit to work from you can keep everything nice and tidy just panning round. All we need now is either that line to pull out the clip or that float to start dancing away. It's a weird feeling today. It's great to be out for Pike, most definitely, but it does feel like an absolute age since I last targeted them. And it was only February when we were last out for Pike. But this summer and this autumn really has been a really long one and it just seems ages since we were last out for pike the rods are out and fingers crossed out there is mr esox or mrs esox if we're lucky looking for the feed so we've been fishing about say an hour i was just nodding off and the lines just pulled out the clip fingers crossed for the first pike of the season it's a bend in the rod it doesn't feel the biggest pike in the world but like i said at the start you just come for one bite and that's definitely got the heart racing it's absolutely tiny <laughs> he's snaffled a proper piece of sardine <laughs> and i'd like to say it was worth the effort getting up this morning but <laughs> It can only count as a start. Let's get him in, get him unhooked, and let him go. And what that pike lacks in size, it definitely doesn't lack in beauty. Just look at those lovely colours and how it camouflages so well with the environment. So I've done a lot on this river over the years, and he's very lucky <laughs> he didn't get et on the way in because there are some nice pike in the system. But yeah, a nice start to the season one pike on the bank and hopefully we can get a couple more during the day let's let this lovely guy go and he is a beautifully marked pike and off you go matey back he goes let's get the rod back out there so with the rod out of the water you can see the nice simple setup we've got a running ledger a couple of beads a quick change swivel a wire trace and you can see there the pike definitely had eyes bigger than its belly. <laughs> Just gonna put a bit of oil on down the side and um, we'll get it back out there. And fingers crossed, where there's one, there's more. So the rod's back out and I've recast the float rod as well. And if anything, 
it's the blank out the way, isn't it? One thing it has done though, he's got the blood pumping. I was a bit lethargic this morning, I was nodding off when the alarm went. Now, wide awake, buzzing with adrenaline. You can't beat that take, can you? You know, when that alarm comes alive and you just don't know what's on the other end. You can see now the weather that was predicted is moving in. So we've got the rain moving in. I'm going to quickly move all this gear, get it underneath the shelter, which I should have done when I arrived, but <laughs> like I say, was not enough. So with the rain coming down, the rod is off again and <laughs> when you least want to bite, most definitely, let's take a look. We've waited a bit more time for this next bite, most definitely, and with the rain pouring down, that ledge has gone again. Again, not a massive pipe, but slightly better than the last one. Definitely angry. Um, that's what you get this time of year, plenty of gusto from the pike. He's not a massive pike, he's bigger than the other one, most definitely. So with the rain coming down, I'm more than welcome, second pike of the session. Probably taking about another hour and a half to come, but proper, proper made up. A lovely take, gently pulled away, and yeah, pike number two on the bank. So the ledger today definitely doing the business and heaven seems to be the bait. One problem though, I've got quite a few sardines left, but that's the last heaven going out. With the rod back out on the spot, hopefully we won't have to wait as long this time for bite number three. Back under the shelter just in time for the rain to come down heavy again. And yeah, two pike on the bank. And to start off with, you're just looking for bites really. You know, you don't know where the fish are. It's a new start to the season. So on that first session, anything is a bonus. So I'm proper, proper made up. And boy, am I glad I didn't go out on the feeder today. It was, you know, a 50-50 decision. Should I go out for the bream or should I come piking? And then go either one the next day. And boy, am I glad I picked today to come for pike and sit under the shelter. Into the last hour of the session now and conditions do look perfect. It is overcast, that drizzle is still coming down but i must admit it does look good for the bite and we're going to give it until probably about six o'clock quarter past six so the rain on that session kept coming down but sadly the alarms didn't beep anymore join me now on the monday in a rare day off work we're on the canal and we've got rods in the water at first light i've seen a few fish topping and i have done on the walks that i've done up here in september it's the way I always go about it. I always walk the canal before work. You can see there, just fish topping. And what you're hoping is where these small fish, hopefully, there's a pike. So spot number one failed to produce anything in that early light. Grabbed a cup of coffee and coming to another location. You can just see there the beautiful reeds. Two floats in place. Sardine and the smell. I'm going to sit back, have me brew. This area here, more jacks really than the other area. You know, the other area could throw up a nice fish. Where there's here, historically, has been an area that's done jacks really. We've had one or two boats come through, and finally, the good old trusty smelt has gone away and like I say knowing the waters you know the venues you come to the chances are it was going to be a jack but a day off work chilling out with a mate and the rod's finally gone and there we go what a beautiful pike that is lovely markings and like I say when you go different venues you know the size of fish that you're generally going to catch and today out with me mate Gaddy, just having a bit of a social in the early morning before I got to pick the kids up from work and that's a lovely coloured pike. But there we go, the future of the canal in a picture. But the rods are back out now and yeah, just great being out with a mate. It's about 10 years ago Gary actually introduced me to pike fishing and I remember fondly 
memories of us fishing for pike, getting runs on the canal and mayhem like then. Gary had a run and a boat was coming and both nearly 40 years of age now and still enjoying getting out, catching those jacks. And his second pike of the morning, a lovely mark pike and you can see in excellent condition.